appalling to you. It's, it's true, and thank God for it. It will be the most important single step forward in treatment of diseases in the history of mankind. It's to an AIDS patient such as insulin is to a diabetic. It's been proven statistically that those results are, to, are significant and the data and the research are all available for anyone to review. And they documented through CAT scans that my tumors began to reduce and uh, they hadn't seen any kind of response in any medical literature like that prior to me. To where I couldn't get out of bed and couldn't make a move in the hospital because of the pain. Back to having breakfast and lunch and dinner and things that normal people do. I'm Wayne Osmond. You just heard some very strong testimonials, some from highly reputable professionals. They're talking about a product found in nature, aloe. It comes from the aloe vera plant. We've known that ancient civilizations used it as a healing medicine. Five times the Bible refers to it, telling on one occasion that the Lord planted it. Now in our day, some overwhelming studies have been conducted using aloe with patients who have AIDS as well as with tumor patients. These studies are now being extended to other diseases. Please listen to what these experts have to say. Dr. McAnally, Director of Research at Carrington Laboratory, who is a research PhD a pharmacologist, came in and told me what I thought was a cock and bull story uh, about how they had uh, taken the juice from a uh, plant, which is the aloe barbarensis miller plant, that I was familiar with from my childhood, which was usually on the kitchen sink at my grandmother's, my mother's, for insect bites and burns and said that when he was a graduate student, he had been employed by uh, Carrington Laboratory and the founder of that company, Clinton Howard, to try to find out if there really was something in the aloe plant. And we started seeing improvement in their T4 cells and their immune system. We decided to do an organized study that was medically sound. The cock and bull story I was talking about is that after they began to sell this, that they had five or six AIDS patients contact them or their family and say that they had been unable to work, bed fast, and uh, could not go to school. They drank this stuff for, uh, in large amounts for a few weeks, and now they were symptom-free and back to work. I uh, thought that was rather really fanciful, and I was not impressed, and was not interested in uh, their request to look into it for them. My T-cell count's at 358 now. Everyone kept remarking at the hospital, and all the medical people that I talked to, They'd never seen anything like it. However, I had come back from a trip and had viral pneumonia, which they didn't know about, had failed at three courses of antibiotics and was feeling very sick as they talked to me. And I made the comment I wouldn't give anything to anyone I hadn't taken myself. How about give me a couple cases of that stuff? I was skeptical, but convinced that I was clinically seeing improvement. Their modified Walter Reed scores were improving, their night sweats were disappearing, their diarrhea was going away, their uh, subjective symptoms were improving, their Karnofsky quality of life scales were improving, and I thought, hmm, there's really something to this. So I began to drink it, and about uh, two days I was much better, and I didn't believe that what I was drinking was due to it because I thought it was about time I was getting well anyway. But the thing that really impressed me is in about five days, I no longer were, was coughing up uh, material out of my lungs. They were perfectly clear. And this usually goes on with a post-tussic or a coughing syndrome for weeks after being over something like this. And I was well and I was impressed. We gave them 20 ounces a day and in a divided dose. And uh, it was just incredible because their P24 core engine started coming down. Their T4 helper cells, which is an immune function, started going up. And if you're going to lick this disease, the two goals of a great anti-AIDS drug or regimen is it must stimulate and increase the immune system <laughs> while it inactivates or kills the virus. Ah, oh, interesting. And those uh, principles have been met with aloe. Now you have to realize in the context of the time, uh, the average uh, person didn't know 
and it was controversial at best what caused AIDS. There were no tests for AIDS. All I could do was interview these people, and I wrote them a letter and, uh, to, to Carrington Laboratories and said I thought it was worth looking into because their uh, stories were quite impressive. I thought I was through. One of the patients that I've asked to come and be anonymously uh, mosaic out to be screened has been on aloe since that original study and he's only been on aloe and his t-cells are almost as healthy as yours or mine and he came in with hepatitis b and was nearly dead when he came to me have you noticed an increase in your t4 helper cells since starting this yes as at one time i believe i was down to 200 something and um and i've gone up to 700 at one time and i believe mine's still at about 700 which is way above normal. In 85, uh, 86, we did uh, 14 patients divided into two groups. In 90 days, the far advanced, virtually terminal AIDS patients had improved in their modified Walter Reed scoring 20%. The patients that had AIDS that were not terminal with untreatable complications had had a 71% improvement. This means that their absolute T4 lymphocytes had gone up. These are the cells that are usually destroyed by the virus. They were recovering. The P24 core antigen, which is a measure of virus load in the serum, went down, which means you're reducing the virus load, and their clinical symptoms uh, either abated or went away. It has uh, really, for the most part, kept me, re I think, very healthy. My energy level has always been fairly high since I've, I've taken aloe vera because I remember in the beginning I was real tired and I was starting to you know get a lot of symptoms and and um, after drinking it I became much more healthier and um, I do everything that anybody else does. And we ended up giving the patients uh, 20 ounces a day or 5 ounces and 4 divided doses before meals and at bedtime. With that type of approach we went to Dr. Uh, Paltz. Here I have over 550 seropositive asymptomatic patients in the practice. We have about uh, 150 to 200 ARC and 81 AIDS patients. I had one guy that was in the hospital for 47 days who left the hospital and uh, is alive today, but he had a resistant case of PCP. He, uh, we put him uh, on aloe in the hospital and he's gaining his weight. We took him off hyperalimentation, put him on nutritional supplementation, and he's doing very well, and we've taken him off DFMO, which saved his life. Uh, very rapidly we were able to show with uh, green monkey kidney cells that by adding dosages of the uh, sterile ingredient from the aloe plant that's preserved in this juice, that herpes virus and measles virus uh, proliferation was blocked in a dose-related manner. Then we showed that uh, feline rhinotracheitis virus uh, growing on uh, cat kidney cells was blocked in a dose-related manner. It took a while to do it. Finally, with co-cultured uh, uh, monocytes from uh, donors, human donors, we were able to show an inhibition of the AIDS virus in uh, white cell cultures, and also uh, not only an inhibition of the virus production of the uh, P24 core antigen, but increased survivability of the target cells that you would expect the virus to attack. We dealt effectively as doctors with polio, we dealt effectively with tuberculosis and all, all the other scourges that we've had, and this is no different. Let's treat it like the disease that it is. We also were able to show in my cells that if we, if I had not taken this, you could harvest my white cells and infect them with AIDS virus and you get a certain profile of AIDS virus proliferation in my susceptible cells. And if I took uh, about a gram a day of this for a uh, thousand milligrams for a week, then harvested my cells, that you could not infect them with the virus, the AIDS virus. Well, we have one patient who uh, I think will be coming in later who's still walking around with only seven T4 helper cells, whereas 519 is normal. And he's been on this product for four and a half years. His statistical chances of lasting that long are zero. And he's got absolutely no opportunistic infections and is doing terrific. I think overall I feel pretty well. I, I feel like I'm going to make it and uh, hopefully live a, a good productive life. I want to go back to work as soon as possible.